MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball, and it comes your way next. James Paxton, a left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you could tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Tampa Bay, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, 107. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This no. one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another two two. Got to love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. A bouncer up the middle. Torres brings it in, and he's retired one away. That is seven. The designated hitter, Jose Martinez. So striding in, Jose Martinez. Five base hits in the series for him through nine at-bats, so he's been very productive at the plate. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, this team finds itself with a huge lead. Double digits right now and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Two balls and a strike now. Three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. Bases are empty, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Into the box now, Austin Meadows, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The 1 0. Two ball. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. To two and two now. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. Blew that fastball right by. Here's a fly ball well hit. Judge retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Charlie Morton, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Stepping into the box, Brett Gardner, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch of the at bat. This one to right field and deep off the bat of Gardner. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Twelve home runs for him now thus far as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run it to early in the game and he does just that blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice they're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home that crowd into it right out of the gates. The right first offering on its way not even close on that swing no balls and a strike and guys the Rays as they begin play here this afternoon they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games yeah Maddie, they cannot allow that one run and deflate them I know they haven't been playing well recently, but that's nothing in today's game. The way guys are hitting home runs at an epic rate, they just need to calm down and get on the offensive side of the ball. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Stan alive putting together a really good at bat here. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here it comes. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll take a look at ball one. swing and a shot hit down the corner mm, definitely had the distance but it winds up a foul ball from the windup the 1 1 pitch and he misses two and one 
I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. The 2 2. He swung on and missed strike three. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home that run cool. to strike out the next the two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about that how you respond that really matters. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. 2-0 yep. pitch, and that one's over for a strike. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. In prior outings against Charlie Morton, he's four for 14. First offering on its way. Torres is really a well-balanced hitter. That doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Sanchez is off of first with two away. Fastball misses oh. in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The one two and here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right so we'll try it again at one and two as a look now the pitch got to take advantage of that pitch right there O2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate not going to see too many of those today. The one two. Playing two. two. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s, where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. The two two is looked at and the count moves full. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. Now 1-0 Yanks. Striding forward now, Hunter Renfro. In yesterday's game, he was responsible for the only run driven in by his club.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And that'll bring in Yandi Diaz as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Filthy changeup that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. The next 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. Digging in, Brandon Lau. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Now here it comes. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Lau, a 25 year old, he was selected in the third round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. So coming to the plate, Mike Talkman. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and all. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Gotta believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Now the 1 0. No, that's the ball. Ball. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy an inning and think you're going to have any success. Down and four. Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So so now we've got a battle on our hands. The three two pitch. Fouled off. He'll try it again, three and two. Oh. 
And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. Guy continues to swing a hot bat. Hit over 300 last month. We'll see if he can keep scorching here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Uh -huh. And a fastball's in there for strike one. One pitch on its way. Tuckman aboard here at first with nobody out. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. to two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. To second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Coming to the plate now, Luke Voigt in prior outings against Charlie Morton. He's just one for six. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Starts him out with a cutter, and he gets him to swing through at one strike. Looking at his career totals, Voigt carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And it's fouled away. Runners on first with one down. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here's the 0-1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to second for the force out and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count.
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Didn't ball. quite catch the zone there. Ball one. The 1 0 is taken ball. for ball two. Too high, and it's three and oh. Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. In now, Willie Adamas, the head-to-head -head with James Paxton. He's one for five. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Here's the one one. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. And that misses two and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And the Rays are in the hit column. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Mike Zanino is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. No, outside. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. The three one. Full count now three and two. Fouled away. The next three, two. Hard hit ball to second. One there. Devoit in time for the double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Two 
So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. The 0 1 offering in there, and it's 0 2 now. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt, try and get a swing and a miss. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. And he fouls this one off. One and two. Here it is. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Torres is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One left for Tampa. It remains one nothing. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. And that last at that we went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball, so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Gardner. A native of South Carolina. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. Even count two balls and two strikes. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Now the three and two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bouncer to the left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base run. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. No. Two and one. Two and one. Two and one. Basketball is looked at for strike two. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. 
Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. I wouldn't be surprised to see the runner moving here on that 3-2 pitch. With only one out, but this guy at the plate swings the bat really well. So it's likely he'll put the ball in play if it's a pitch worth swinging at. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Fouled off. The 3 2 one more time. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The bat. So the runner at first here with Gary. two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. He's set, and the pitch. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. The 1 0. Judge, the runner at first with two gone. Ball. Breaking ball called just a bit low. One Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's three seat, one. three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And another foul ball. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard yeah, single up the middle. Yeah, yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Yeah. Sent it back right where it came Over. from. Standing in now, Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Ready with the 1 0. Oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. The 2 0. Oh. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. The 3-0 pitch. Hit hard on the ground a second. He's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. But they're on top one to nothing. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the DH, Jose Martinez. Jose. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with a start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. One one home. A ball and two strikes now. Oh. 
And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. In now, Austin Meadows. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. A one count. Here's the pitch, and this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that'll even the count of the Rays' right fielder at one and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. The pitch. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. to the plate now Hunter Renfro as the first pitch here's a bit high it's ball one two balls and no strikes to the Rays left fielder and there's the first strike two and one that's a pitch he'd like to have back you're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Now the 2 1 pitch it is swung on and missed for strike number two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Into the box, Yandy Diaz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Renfro leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. In the dirt here. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. A high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. One and two. Here it is. No, that's the ball. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. The tag, and he's out going for second. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Rays will settle for just the one. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. All tied at one and one.
at the plate now, Mike Talkman. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Four home runs and 14 driven in. And it's fouled away. Try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Two -two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. The pitch. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Now batter. Digging number in to try it again, Gio Urshela. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. One run on three hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hard hit ball to second and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other the way. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. The 2 0 pitch. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Lays off the split finger that time, 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. He loses him on ball four. The batter number 14. Second baseman. Tyler. Stepping in, Tyler Wade. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. The 1-0. It is taken strike one. Wade, a 25-year-old. He was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this middle-round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. He's got to hurry to second for one. The batter, the center fielder. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He went down on strikes last time up. From the stretch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 1-1. One, one.
Runners at the corners, two men out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. Wade rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now a 3-1 to one game. With that base hit right there, d -Row, that's his third RBI of the game. More importantly, his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly almost given his team a chance to win this one. Here's big Aaron Judge. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Gardner at second with two down. Ball. Outside for a ball, one and one. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. A 1 1. Gets a swinging strike. 1 2. The 1 2. Slapped hard the opposite way. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The run scores from second, and it's a four to one game. So he's able to come through here with two away, and that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One and oh, the count. Now a move over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Three runs already home here. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now the 2-0. Ball. You look in the dugout, you can tell that manager's getting ready to come out on that top step. If he doesn't get out of this situation right here, and it's a tough one, I think the bullpen comes in. Three zero pitch it is laid ah. off, but in there for strike one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs. 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area and it wasn't what he was looking for. A runner on first with two away. Fouled away. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Brendan McKay answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. McKay. Gary Sanchez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. 
from the stretch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. The 1 0. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Two down, runners at first and second. And he fouls this one off. Two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. We played four full. The Yankees lead it four to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Thank you, Heidi. Second base. Number eight. First pitch coming, here it is. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Now the 1 0. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball inside. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And it's gone. Solo shot to right center. Number 10 for him on the year. And the Rays draw closer. It's now a 4-2 ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. So now to the plate, G-Man Choi. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now batter, shortstop, really a dominant. So stepping in, Willie Adamas. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him two down. Now back. Pepper. Mike. Zunino. Here now is Mike Zanino. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Two and oh now. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. Two and zero count. Here it comes. Two balls and a strike. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. To two and two now. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off Homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter get that pitch count up here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes full count here here comes the pitch and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning Rays answer right back on the solo home run bottom of the fifth coming up the Yankees four the Rays two Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping up is the shortstop, Torres. The shortstop, First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. It's fouled away. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. Check swing and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Tough ruling, but it's out number one. Ready once again, Mike Tuckman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. One and two. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. To two balls and two strikes now. Playing two balls, two strikes. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He now looks really is. sharp Number out there, 20. guys. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. 
As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 0. He's working on a 1 for 2 game so far. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two, ball, strike. Two out, nobody on. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. Pops this one up. Meadows coming in on it. And nope, this one falls so he'll get another shot. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman. Standing in, Luke Voigt. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. The 0 1. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Urshela is off of first with two away. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball, one and two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. So a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 pitch, and he misses again. Ball four, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now back, second baseman, Tyler. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Wade. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Yeah, I need to see some solid contact right here. Certainly it'll get the confidence going. He's been slumping pretty hard. Uh -huh. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Two men are on with two men out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? High in the air into shallow left center. Adamas calls for it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Tommy Kingley takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Tuckman has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Now that designated hitter, Jose Martinez. 
To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Jose Martinez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set. Here it comes. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Canely is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Gardner is there, two gone. Now batting. Right fielder, Austin Meadows. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Whoa. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. The 1-0. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Outside, 3-0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Up next for the Rays, Hunter Renfro. Man at first after the two out walk. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. The 1-1 one, one home. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Another 1-2 delivery. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. Meadows, the runner at first with two gone. Hard hit toward the hole, and that finds its way through for a base hit. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Yagi. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz. Here's a high pop-up. Torres waits on it, and that retires the side. Fair to say, oh my goodness, uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. 
He's awfully tardy right now. Whoa. Two balls and a strike now to the Two Yankees more. leadoff man. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And he fouls this one off. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim one away. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. To the plate now, Aaron Judge. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Two and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Bases are empty here with two men out. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they still lead this one four to two. Luis Sessa is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. New York Yankees. Number 85. Luis Sessa. Digging in and looking for more, Brandon Lau comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Fastball in there for a called strike. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter, the first base, G-Man four. Now with the plate, G-Man Choi. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. 
Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. Plays no. off the slider and it's 1 and 1. One and two now. Now here's the pitch. Ball. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys now in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate now, Willie Adamas. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Breaking oh. ball below the zone, that's ball one. Past meetings against Luis Sessa, just a 1 for 12 career line. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They trail it here 4 to 2. Chaz Rowe gets the call from now the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Chaz Rowe. Ready for another shot now. Gary Sanchez. A hit in two tries so far. Gary Sanchez. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. One and one the count. One and two to the Yankees catcher. One, two the count. Ready on one and two. Maybe oh. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. At the plate, Torres, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh. And he watches one miss outside 2 and 0 oh now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. One out, nobody on. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Oh. 
There's ball, ball four. Now back, left fielder. Striding into the box, Mike Talkman for his career in this matchup. He's one for two. He's set and the pitch. No. Rowe, 33 years old. He was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. 2-0 to the Yankees left fielder. Torres, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Two and one after the foul ball there. From the belt, the pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty. Two and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. 2-2 pitch is fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, one and one. him looking awfully confused up there right now it's one and two see guys he is human occasionally an ugly swing right there but he's having a monster season so I'm gonna give him a free pass and a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two Hey, doubled up on breaking balls there outside now might be the time to bust that fastball in Two two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. The Yanks leave one as they can't add to their four to two lead. Adovino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number zero, Adam Adovino. Adam 
ready to begin the eighth. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Mike Sonino. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Here's the first pitch to him. No. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. -oh. This is in the air to left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now that the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Stepping in, Kevin Kiermeyer. His head to head numbers against Adam Ottavino. He's hitless in three at bats. The pitch. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Pitch on the way. is swung on and missed two are quickly retired to start inning number eight that's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all it's bad enough to go down on three pitches but none of them were even in the strike zone that's a bad look Into the box now, Jose Martinez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch, and it's fouled away. Two, he misses with a fastball. Getting late, 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Ball two. Playing two, two, two. Set. Here's the 2 2. Down to four. Boy, two, went two. from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 oh 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Rays go in order one two three still down by a count of four to two. Colin Poche is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38 Colin Poche. Riding in once again, Luke Voigt. It was a walk in his last trip. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. First delivery to him on the way. One and no delivery. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman.
and he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. The batter number 14, second baseman. Tyler. Now at the plate, Tyler Wade. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. him up and no one will track it down void on it first nobody out and he lays off this one down and in for ball two boy not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher one of the keys is to minimize your pitches attack the strike zone early a lot of deep counts and working himself into a lot of trouble. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. No. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. A runner at first with no outs here. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. The center fielder, number 11. Jack. Here's Brett Gardner now as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat it's strike one it's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Ball. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Lifted in the air to center field. Kiermaier is there, and he has it for the first out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Young. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. From the stretch. No. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play, and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. One one ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One left for the Yankees, but they still lead this one four to two. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Standing in, Austin Meadows. Lifetime line against Chapman. He's 0 for 4. Meadows. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. A ball and a strike. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level, so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Set. Here comes the 1 1. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. God, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. A hit and two tries for him so far. Fouled away. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And the pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Into the box now, Yandy Diaz. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. He brings it in and the Yankees have taken the rubber match of this three game set as this ball game is over. Man facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. Four to two the final score today. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. James Paxton earns the win his second. Charlie Morton couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Aroldis Chapman wraps it up for the save, his 15th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.